And um, the greatest gifts you can give yourself is to be content where you're at now. Find the happiness and where you're at in life right now because the only promise you have is the day that you are given. And we don't know what's coming around, what's next, what obstacle we're going to have to face. Um, Each day that life is boring or easy or mundane is such a blessing and a gift. And it's so easy, especially as moms, so busy running the lives of all our kids, you know, managing them and helping them grow to just be so caught up. And the sweetest gift that you can give to yourself and your family is to find how to live in the everyday and how to win back time freedom so that you can actually pour into the people you love the most, the activities you love to do, and learning how to serve more because ultimately that's what Jesus did. I know what it's like to hustle like crazy. I know what it's like to be extremely ambitious because I am. Um, I know what it's like to have a thousand different projects going on at the same time, uh, all these different um, personal goals that you might have. Being a multi-passionate person is a gift, but it is extremely draining. Um, and finding yourself all along the way is just another challenge because as we evolve in life and as life happens to us, we change as people and we learn how to become what's required of us in the moment. And then that obviously can have lasting effect. But the one grounding thing that keeps us who we are and keeps us becoming a better version, as I should say, of ourselves is that rootedness in God because he's the through line through all of that part of our lives. This thing to work towards, I think, is figuring out how to have the freedom with your time. And what I mean by that is um, utilizing your time the best it can be. And a major piece of that is simplifying your life. So I just want to encourage you to take a second to think about that this week. How can you simplify your life to give yourself back time um, that isn't being used to just be a couch potato, although I know there's seasons for that and reasons for that, Um, but give yourself back time to really live, live your life. So there's a lot to say about that. Um, I put a lot of the things that I've done to help myself with that in that Calibrate Your Compass course. And I wasn't coming on here to like promote that course, but um, a lot of the things that I've done, because it incorporates so much, like your physical space too. So getting your house in order to where you're not spending all of your time cleaning, projecting, you know, like doing projects. And then in the same way, like dealing with your day and your routine and how you're managing your time with getting your stuff done because I know for me I've had so many seasons of burnout the last three years um because I just had no I had no good boundaries even though I know how to teach people how to have boundaries it's so hard to know stuff sometimes and do the right thing for yourself Uh, you can always tell others others and help see the holes and what they're doing to help them figure that out it's hard to have self-reflection and I think it's a lot of the time just because We just get stuck in our habits Um, and sometimes we formed really bad habits. So it's about taking the time and the necessary energy to get out, get yourself out of those bad habits. So for real though, if you do need a jumpstart on that kind of stuff, click the link in my profile and grab the Calibrate Your Compass bundle. It's going to help so much.